Let me give you an honest opinion about Dust and Legion Tale. It's an awesome game, but it could have been so much more, and I can't help but notice it every time I play it. Let's start talking about the gameplay. Dust and Legion Tale is a 2D side-scrolling game that combines platforming with elements of RPG, with action elements, and exploration. The platforming and exploration come in the form of the Metroidvania formula. Basically, we have different areas with different exits that can be accessed through different means, so that opens up exploration. Overall, in Dust and Legion Tale, the Metroidvania formula works fine. It's fun to explore the environments, and it's not easy to unlock its secrets. But it's also not difficult, because every time you go into a room, you get a notification if there's a secret in that room. That allows the exploration to be fun and to not be frustrating having to search for every room and every corner in order to find all the secrets of the game. But it takes a little bit of the difficulty away. Nothing excessive though. In terms of platforming, we have some nice and varied challenges without anything too hard. Well, there are a couple of zones in which there are poison thingies, and those poison thingies are really, really annoying. But I think they are annoying just for me and not in general. So... Because the poison can be avoided using the dodge and the invisibility frames. It's just that I don't really get the hang of it. The action elements of the game come in the form of the way by which Dust defeats his enemies. Dust wields the Blade of Ara, and with it you can perform combos in order to defeat the enemies. You have the standard attack button, the secondary attack button, and the featured attack button. The normal attack button is the attack... well, it's the button you use to attack. I mean, it's the button that you press in order to slash with your sword. Also, it's the button that allows you to start a combo. The secondary attack button performs the technique known as the Dust Storm or the Aerial Dust Storm, which is the one you see on screen. If you press it while in the middle of a combo that has to start up with the normal attack button, you can change the combo. Finally, the featured button allows for our flying companion to shoot a projectile. The projectile itself is not really flashy or powerful, but it can be combined with the Dust Storm or the Aerial Dust Storm in order to increase its power and efficiency. Overall, the combat is extremely good. It feels really great, and there are some minor tweaks in the coding that allow it to be really fluid. Like, for instance, if you attack in the air, Dust will automatically search for enemies inside a certain range. Also, you can interrupt any of your combos and any of your actions by dodging at any time. It really feels really fluid, and it feels great. The only problem I have with the combat is that it ends up being repetitive. Throughout the game, you don't have any upgrades that allow you to do more combos. You almost have all the combos since the moment you start the game, and though throughout the adventure you will get some other featured projectiles that allow for a little bit of more variety in your combat style, these projectiles are only different because of how they behave and not that much different. The damage they do to the enemies is the same and it's just the combat gets repetitive after some time. Also to avoid this repetitiveness, we can find some enemies that can be defeated only using certain actions and that allows for some more variety. Like for instance an enemy that can only be killed by reposting with him or an enemy that is only affected by the featured projectiles. Still, I feel that if they could have added some more combos or, or some more combat mechanisms that you unlock throughout the game, it would have been great. Finally, the RPG elements come in the form of leveling up and equipping gear. Every time you defeat an enemy, or complete a quest, or talk with someone for the first time, that receives experience. When you get to a certain amount of experience, you level up, and then you get a gem you can spend to increase one of uh, Dust's base attributes, which are health, attack, defense, and fidget. Health increases the health, of course. Defense in decreases the damage you take from the enemies. Attack increases the amount of damage you deal with the normal attack button. And Fidget increases the attack damage you deal with the Dust Storm and the Fidget Projectiles. The leveling up and the crafting of gear and obtaining the gear and equipping it works fine. There's nothing too remarkable about it. Graphically talking and in terms of music, Dust and Legion Tale, it's amazing. I think it's the most gorgeous looking 2D game I've played in my life. And the game has some really nice soundtracks that allow you to immerse into it. In terms of multiplayer, Dust doesn't have any multiplayer, but it doesn't need it. It's a single player story and it works really well. In terms of length of the game and replayability, the game is not very long. I've completed the game in 100% in the hardest of the difficulties in 12 hours, but you could complete it in 5 hours I think if you play it in a lower difficulty and don't want to complete it in 100%. It's not very long, but it feels rewarding to complete it, and it's very fun to play. To extend the length of the game, the game provides you with some side quests and some extra challenges, known as the arenas. There are not many of them, but that's a good thing, because I find that in some other games that there are a lot of side quests, I don't really feel like they are, mi like they are meaningful, and I don't feel compelled to complete them. In Dust and Legion Tale, I really feel like I want to complete the side quests, and because there are not a lot of them, I can play each side quest as something more memorable. It's not as memorable as the main quest, of course, but still, it's important. It feels relatively important. Finally, let's talk about the story. 
The story of Dust and Generation Tale starts off really, really well. The interaction cutscene, the character presentation, the presentation of the mysteries, it works great. And it compels you to keep playing and see what's happening. Also, the characters are designed beautifully. The interaction between the characters, especially between the main character, Dust, and his companions, which are his Blade and Fidget, which is the flying companion, are really well done. And the characters you encounter in the world, with their background stories and with their personalities, are also really charming. The problem comes when you advance into the game and you expect to find answers to the questions that have been raised. First of all, when you do get the answers, in a lot of occasions, they are lame answers, a lot of the times lacking logic or being contradictory. And second of all, there are a lot of mysteries and questions that are left unanswered for some reason. And I really think it's a pity because it starts off really extremely well, and I think this game could have been so much more. I don't really want to spoil the story for you guys, but that's just how I feel about it. Don't expect anything too special about the story. So summarizing, overall Dust and Legend Tale it's a really good game. A good, a good game that you can enjoy playing. It's not very long, and the story is... Uh, it, it's not good. It could have been good, but it's not good. Something similar happens with other elements of the game, like for instance the action elements. They could have added more combos or some unlockables that are useful in battle. Or the length of the game. There's a lot of room for this game to be longer. I would recommend you to play this game. Like, really. But don't expect it to be a masterpiece. It's a good game and an enjoyable one, but I think the game could have been so much more. I know I repeat myself, but it bothers me a lot, especially because I love this game, I would really like it to be better. That concludes this opinion of Dust and Legend Tale, please leave me your opinions down in the comment section, and see you soon!